How would I do it with the basic tools that are within GIMP? So I'm going to have a go. We go to File, Open New File. Now I want the the, uh, the file to be like an A A4 sheet of paper, so I just click this uh, portrait one, and it swims swings those around so it makes it a a portrait um, layout. Now I need some guidelines, so I go to Image and go to Guides and ask for percentages because I want to work on the half of this. It's loaded down on the bottom so I just open up the script and it's got the horizontal. I want the vertical so I click on the down arrow and choose the vertical. I want 50% which is going to put me right in the centre there. I click OK. Now I need a horizontal so I just grab the top ruler bar and I drag it down to where I want it on the sheet of paper on the background. Now I go to my ellipse tool and I make sure that I expand from the centre and it has a fixed ratio. So I click those little radio buttons there and go right to the centre and just drag out my circle and let it go. Now I go to my blend tool and pick a gradient. Now it's, it's going to be gold because it's, it's an award so we come down here to find our gold one, click on that and just drag it right from the bottom so it gives a good gold colour in the centre. While it's still selected around the edge I go to my paintbrush tool and I make sure that the, the circle is about that size. I go down here and I choose my spacings around about uh, 60, I think it's 70, about 70% 70 or that's close enough. I go to edit and I ask it to stroke. Now I stroke it with the paintbrush tool. So I click on that radio button and ask it to stroke. It puts the little bumpy edges all around, that's the idea of the spacing. Now I go to select and select none. I choose my select by colour and go on the outside of the white and choose on that one. I go to select and invert the selection so it's just on the edge. I return to select and shrink it by one pixel. That gives me a little black border around the edge. I go to my eyedropper tool choose the gold in the centre, go to my paintbrush, uh, bucket fill tool and just fill the edge around there. And it's given me the edge of my uh, medallion. So now I'll go to select and select none. I go to file and open as a layer. And I've got it in my work folder which is the, the GIMP, it's Wilbur, and I open it as a layer. and that places it in on the top there as a layer. So I go to my Move tool, just make sure you've got this little radio button clicked here, move the active layer, and so I move Wilbur up to around about, that's pretty good. Now I go to my Select by Colour and just click inside there. I need an alpha channel, so I right click the top layer of Wilbur and add an alpha channel. Now in that selection I just hit the delete key and delete all the white. Now I go and turn off the selection once again, select none, swing my paint selection to white and go to the bucket fill tool and colour back his eyes and the nose. Now I come over to the my layers channel, right click on it and ask it to image to layer size. Let's put the image to that layer size. Now I'll return to the ellipse tool, place it in the centre and drag another circle just inside the boundaries of my medallion. I change it to black and go to my text tool and choose a bold text, uh, 
one there will do and of course I'll need to reach, increase the size later on just click anywhere in, the, in where Wilbur is there on the medallion it doesn't matter because we're going to move it about and we just type in Gimp Award and click OK or Close now I increase the, the size till it fits what I feel should be about right back over in the layers channel I go to the my pass dialog and I click this little icon down the bottom here selection to a path and you can see there now it's put a selection to the path I come over along to the uh, toolbox again and ask text along path it places the text along that path I go back to my layers channel <coughs> or dialog I return to my layers channel select the text and delete the text which we just click on the waste bin and it should delete it and there it's gone now now I'll return to my uh, past dialog and I come over to here to my rotation tool make sure this one here is is checked and I just rotate the text until it fits about where I want it and click on rotate now I go to select and select none I go back to my top layer and choose path to selection I swing my color back to white get the bucket fill tool and just put it inside your text and paint it all white. Before returning to the um, layers uh, channel we close the eye off so it takes away the the award so the, uh, the boundary so we go to select and select none now we go back to our layers channel filters we click on the bottom layer we go to filters we go to map and we click on bump map And in the bump mat little dialog menu you'll see how it's changed Wilbur everything to a gold medallion type of format and you can change the elevation or you can swing the uh, invert the bump mat so it looks the other way but I like the bumped up text so we'll leave it at that we'll leave most of the, uh, the settings the way they are click OK now we don't require that top layer anymore, it's done its job, so we just bring it down and put it in the waste bin. And there's a little job. Now I need to put click on there and add an alpha channel because I'm going to be deleting that background shortly. I go and put in a new layer, a transparency. And I, I grab my free select tool and just kind of make a little ribbon going to be a fairly straight ribbon okay go to my colors click on the there to choose a blue color pretty blue there okay it and then fill it with with the color while it's still selected I go to edit and I copy it return to edit or turn off the selection return to edit and paste it now it pastes as the floated selection so I make it a complete layer by clicking on the layer uh, little icon there now I go to my move tool make sure you've still got that radio button clicked and just move it down to here and then we flip it over move into the area and flip it over go back to the move tool and just move it so and then go to the next layer down and move that one over don't worry about the big area moving okay now we put our medallion on top now the, the layers beneath are in in uh, inverted in transparencies so I'll go to my uh, color selection there and select the white and hit the delete key on the keyboard I go to select and select none click the top layer and merge visible layers that allows me to keep the transparency click OK 
Now I go to filters just to dress it up a little bit and we put in a, a drop shadow. We go to lighten shadow, come down to drop shadow and leave it at default and click OK. It puts in our drop shadow. Once again, click on the top and merge down. And that's our medallion. We just turn or go to our image and turn off our guides. Remove the guides. Now to see how it looks, we put in a, a background layer just for for display purposes because you're going to use that on a um, possibly a, a certificate of some form. We put the uh, that layer down below. Uh, click that little button there to turn it all black and white again. Swing the to white. Go to back bucket fill tool and fill it with white. And there's a little drop shadow. But when you go to save it, you just we dump that. We don't want that one. We just go to save and save as. We save it a as a GIMP award dot PNG, which is a portable networks graphics, and it saves the transparency. Click OK. Of course, it wants to know if you're going to export it. We export it, and we leave it at default setting and save and that's your tutorial let's finish now and you can put that in a word processor as an award down the bottom corner so thanks you for watching and uh, rate the video